This one's going to be on Knees Beater's macros they can set up. So macros will allow you to use like external programs to do uh, different things to uh, wherever link or article that you're on. And so that's what I'm going to show you here. Um, here's a couple of my macros um, that I have set up here. So bust out your configurations here for Knees Beater. And the default macro hotkey is that you have to hit, uh, you know, comma here. And then you can hit like any of this other uh, letter that you set up. So the first one I like to use is uh, the command line uh, web browser. And my default command line web browser is um, W3M, right? And I like using Tmux with this, but I actually had uh, both, um, was it both code here. If you're not using Tmux, then you use this. If you are using Tmux, this is what I'm using here. Same thing with down here. This one is for RTV is a Reddit terminal viewer, which I talked about a while back. And this one is to play uh, videos like YouTube videos, um, uh, anything that YouTube DL supports, you know, that includes porn and everything. Uh, you can do that. And also uh, links to audio or, um, you know, direct HTTP links. You can use uh, MPV for that too, right? And this one will use task pooler to uh, do the queuing system. So let's say if you have like a multiple videos, uh, you'll queue it. Another one I use this for is to yank uh, the current link uh, to clipboard, just in case I need to, uh, you know, paste in or whatever. And another thing is I use this with Ranger to read the save files. Uh, so I'll explain those in a minute here. All these other ones, um, I mean, not really that important. Only these ones up here I actually use here. So I'll show you that right now, what it does here, okay? So let's say if I'm, um, you know, I, I, I'm reading this and I want to open it with the command line web browser, because by default I set it up to uh, hit O and now open with my GUI. So if I hit O right now, I open with my default web browser, right? Um, you know, the GUI one. Now, if I want to do that from the command line using W3M, I hit uh, comma O, and this will open in a new um, terminal, um, I mean, a Tmux split. If you're not using Tmux, it will just use the whole window, like I said. But here you go. If I want to read it from, uh, you know, the command line, I can read it, so on and so forth, right? And then when I quit out of this, um, it will just uh, kill the uh, pain. So that's the, the first one for, uh, what is that, the web browser, the command line web browser. Um, you know, you can use this one too if uh, you're not using Tmux, like I said. Now this one's for Reddit, so it, the links has to be Reddit. So let's go to a Reddit link here. Do you have any subreddit? There you go, subreddits. And let's say if I want to uh, read this one here, I mean, they'll have the, um, you know, the, the, whatever they uh, posted, but you can't really read the comments. So to read the comments, all you gotta do is uh, hit the, uh, what was it, comma R, and this one will open with uh, the RTV program, right? And I can read it from here. And there we go, look at this one. And I can read, you know, whatever they uh, commented on. So we have only two comments, so on and so forth. And once I'm done with that, I just quit, and we're back to our article here. And we get out of that. Uh, so that's another one for, you know, uh, Reddit stuff. And the next one, this one's mainly for, um, you know, YouTube subscription I'm subscribed to. And I'll just queue the videos. So after one video is done, it'll go on to the next one and go on to the next one and so on and so forth. Uh, this one works with podcasts too. So if the podcast has actually a link in it, then you can do this. But anyways, I'll show you that example right now. Let me uh, mute the sound though, just in case uh, I don't want to get copyright. But uh, how do you do this here? So I have some um, videos from YouTube here. And which one is safe to use? Uh, let's do some, uh, some minimalist video, why not? Let's do that here. Oh no, not them, maybe they get copyright. Let's do some uh, house hacks or some shit. So let's say in here, if I want to cue the video, I just hit, uh, what was that, uh, comma P, 
and I'll start playing the video in a minute here using MPV uh, and uh, you know they use this YouTube DL in the back end but uh, see that it, say, it plays the video and let's say if I want to queue up another one let's say this Kip K's uh, toilet prank whatever I do uh, comma P and so on so far I can go to a different one let's say uh, this one whatever comma P so I queue three videos all right and you can actually uh, let's say if this video is finished let's say I, I close this video here for example if I close this video queue here the next video will come up next uh, in a few seconds here there you go that's another one if I quit this one out um, the next video it will just come up uh, and this is the power of uh, task puller it, it can actually uh, hold the command it's not gonna um, it's not gonna uh, execute it into the last command ends. so if the video the last video ends it'll go on to the next one so that's why I like using task puller very underrated program but I use it every day okay anyways that's uh, what you can do here uh, with you know your YouTube subscription or whatever so that's what I use there for that um, and I have it directly you know um, over here in the, the right uh, bottom corner because I like it to uh, always be on top on that corner and I can still read my feeds so for example if I uh, let's do another one here open that uh, you know the video will play and I, I can still browse and do uh, other stuff in here right um, and you know I can look for another video and I can still watch my video uh, on the side here so if I watch if I want to like queue up another video I can just go in here and we have some um, what was it uh, here uh, what's his name Conan O'Brien I mean so I can queue that up so on and so forth so that's what I use for watching you know my YouTube subscription but this one can work with any um, any stream that uh, YouTube DL supports so that, that can include porn too if you want to add that to your RSS you can do that but anyways after that uh, I close that uh, was that video down the next video should be the Conan O'Brien so on and so forth you get the idea anyways I like that one I use that a lot okay and that one is just using um, task puller uh, MPV and YouTube DL okay that's it for that and this one is to yank the uh, the URL to the clipboard so sometimes if I want to uh, you know share it out or something like that um, I'll just yank it out so let's say for example let's go back to what we got here some Linux uh, package or something like that and I want to yank this thing I do uh, comma Y and that is it I have it in my um, you know clipboard now so I can paste it and there you go that is the URL so on and so forth you get the idea uh, anything else in here this one is to read save files so I don't know why but Newsbeater they don't actually have like a, a save later feature or something like that they want you to actually save the fucking file so it's kind of I don't know it's kind of weird and you can't you can't actually load the save files into Newsbeater to read it later. So it's kind of annoying, but this is my workaround for reading that. Okay. So let's say, for example, I want to save, um, I don't know, this article. I hit S and we'll hit uh, enter to save. Right now it says save article, the bottom here, uh, txt file. All, all these will be saved in a txt file. Okay. So let's say, for example, I hit another one. Let's say I save this one, enter, so on and so forth. We have anything else? Some Arch Linux crap. Okay, we'll do uh, save. We'll do three of these here. All right. So now that you saved it, um, we're just gonna use uh, what was that? Comma S, and this one will open a uh, Ranger. Um, I'll show you right now. So comma S. And this one will open uh, Ranger to that location where your save file is at. And you can read it from here. And this is how you would read it, uh, your save files. Um, kind of annoying, but you know, you can't really use Newsbeater to read your save files. You actually have to use a, uh, you know, a pager or a text editor or whatever it is to read it. But it's not a big deal. I can still access my um, links and stuff like that using, um, what was it, W3M? Uh, you can pipe into there. So, for example, if I want to look at the links here, I can do this, and I can still open the links, uh, so on and so forth from here. 
if I wanted to, right? So on and so forth. So a little workaround, but not a big deal. Um, that's it for that. Anything else in here? So that's how I'll handle, um, you know, save files. And that's pretty much it. I mean, some of these other ones I don't really use that much, but you know, whatever. Anyways, that's how you use macros with Newsbeater. Um, pretty cool. Just remember that the default hotkey is comma, and you have to hit comma and O or comma and R, and so on and so forth. Um, but anyways, that's how my setup is. It. I'll link you everything in the description that you need to do. And uh, that'd be it for this video, all right?